Lord Father, that we are committed to you. We want your Holy Spirit to come. Touch each one of us. Who is just about to take your communion? And I want you, Lord, use my mouth to be a good sound instrument. To pray your word. So your people could understand and hear it. Why did you put yourself on the cross? Thank you, Jesus. Because of us. Thank you, Jesus. And you give us your body and your blood to heal us in the disaster of the sending that we do in this world. We ask this in the holy name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. 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 You could take your seat because I will take my five minutes with words. I don't want to lose a minute of it because it's very important to me. First of all, I want to thank you for the Heavenly Father that he still keep us alive until today. There is many, many things facing with us, but we're still alive. We're still safe, we're still happy. And we are here today, and we are just about to eat the bread and drink his blood so we could live more long. Hallelujah. Oh, yeah. I will read to us two uh, scripture from the Bible. And after that, I will tell you why I want this to read to you this scripture. First of all, <clears throat> I will take it from the first chronicle, <clears throat> chapter 11, from 27, verse 27 to 29. It says, So then whosoever eat the bread and drink the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be killed in sin against the body and the blood of the Lord. Everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat and eat the bread and drink the, the cup. For those who eat and drink without discerning the body of Christ, eat and drink judgment for themselves. Second scripture, I want to take it from Luke chapter 22, verse 19 to 22. It said, and then he took the bread, gave thanks, and broke it, and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, giving for you to this remembrance of me. In the same way, after the supper, he took the cup and saying, This cup is the new covenant, covenant in my body, which is poured out for you. But the hand of him who is going to preach me is with mine on the table. The Son of Man will go as it is been Deceit, but war to the man who betrayed him. I 
I look at the way that we take the communion supper. It seems to me just like that we take it as a normal traditional, traditional thing that we are used to do it. We did not take it seriously to know how important the communion is. I tell you an example like this. If you are playing rugby and you did not know the rule and regulation about rugby, you are the one you going to make more mistakes in the field and maybe you finish by kicking you out from the field. The same thing as the church, same thing as the communion. It's have his rule and regulation. I just read it on. He said, in some of the words here, verse 27, so then whosoever eat the bread and drink the cup of the Lord in an unworthy manner will be killed in sin against the body and the blood of the Lord. I urge you, everyone, brothers and sisters, when you are about to take communion, in, in here, in 20, <coughs> in 28, <coughs> everyone ought to examine themselves before they eat and drink. They eat the bread and drink the cup. We have to examine ourselves. And see who I am, really tell everything to him, or ask him everything to forgive me. Or we says, come and say, nobody knows it. Nobody sees. I will take the communion. Please don't do it. Have to accept yourself. Close your eyes. He is listening for a word to come from us. Say, forgive us. Wash us in your blood. Heal us when we eat your body. Because Christ was sent uh, speaking to the people, to Pharisees and Sadducees. And he said, this is my body. And I am the living bread. And this is my blood. Because in the Old Testament, you're not allowed to drink blood or eat blood. Because he said, whoever can eat my blood, my body, and drink my blood, he will be ever, everlasting life. Amen. That's what we should be known. Communion is very, very important. He said, this is my body. Take it. It's free for everyone. Okay. But make sure we take it and we accept ourselves that we have to be get the perfect promise everlasting life. Amen.
Thank you. 